first part of your school is your full mission trainer, kind of like a flight simulator. We go through that for a handful of months, getting the basics, so on and so forth. If you make it through that portion of the school, you come over to advanced qualification training, um, which is here at the unit. Um, that's another couple months worth of training, and flights, and live missions, actually flying a live craft. There's a lot of concepts that are gonna be new to a lot of people. I'm a quartermaster and we have so many different rates here, gunners, mates, quartermasters, gas turbine mechanics and electricians. So a lot of the concepts that we deal with on the LCAC are foreign to them in their previous 10, 15, 20 years of naval experience. It's kind of one of those things where it either clicks or it doesn't click and uh, everything's very fast paced and these machines move at 35 plus knots and it's a lot quicker than what we're used to on, you know, those ship vessels that don't move near as fast as these things do. It's, it's very hard, we have a high attrition rate and there's people that can't grasp the concept of maneuvering the craft. There's people that can't grasp the concept of this type of leadership. This type of leadership is a lot different than running a, deta or running a division on a ship. You're responsible for a craft. You're, you're the CEO of that craft, basically. We have the same regulations and responsibilities as a CEO at sea. So it's a different style of leadership. So we want people that can handle that, that can handle multitasking, and handle the responsibility of doing this job. There's less than 100 people in the Navy that are LCAT craft masters. And so when you think about how big the Navy is and how few people do this job, it is a huge sense of pride. And then knowing the attrition rate and knowing as an instructor how many people I've seen not make it through this class is, is a huge sense of pride and the ability to control these craft. You want to be the best and the safest and the most efficient at what you do in your job, no matter what it is.